Don't forget to check out my Patreon, linked in the description below. I react to many, many other videos that get blocked on YouTube, such as Idol Rooms, Knowing Bros, lots of Red Velvet Level Up project episodes, concert videos, such as Twice Land, Twice Lights, and Red Mare. We also have some dramas, like He is Psychometric. We also have Finding Stray Kiss and One Fine Day in Japan of Seventeen. Also got seven hard carry episodes. So don't forget to check out my Patreon. Thank you, and continue on with the video. Hey guys, Angie here, and today we have Twice's Eyes Wide Open. I think that's the name of the album. Oh uh, yeah, Eyes Wide Open. So everybody reacted to the music video. Um, it's my new channel. I'm still doing Patreon and stuff. Like, everything is still good. A lot of my Twice reactions are not saved because I did save them and I uploaded it on my new channel. And then that channel got taken down because they found out it was my channel. So this channel might get taken down because YouTube is just like, no, you can't have a YouTube channel now, which is very stupid. I like kind of can get it, but I don't get why they can't just demonetize me. Why they do, why do they have to delete the whole channel? Like, as long as I'm not making money, it doesn't matter, I feel like, because I'm not posting anything inappropriate or whatever. So they could have just demonetized me, but no, they deleted my whole channel. That's it. <laughs> so yeah, there's so many songs, so let's just hop into the video. Okay, first up is Hell in Heaven. Loud. Okay. Oh, I like the way Jiho's doing that. Oh, I like the way they're doing their singing in the song. Oh, sure. If you're a carrot or like listen to 17's recent album, this is giving me that vibe that light in a flame, light of flame has, light as a flame, something like that. It's very like, I don't know, I, I like it, it's mystical, it's sultry. And they're like both singing, like both groups sang a little different song. Right, we all know Chaeyoung's part's my favorite. <laughs> okay, I also like Mina. Oh. Daya? Okay, I was gonna say, like, Daya hasn't done anything. Oh, this is definitely a 10. Giving me that vibe that what was the song? Make me go. It was make me go. Yeah. You can't stir with the ten man. That's I'm, I'm scared for the rest of the album because this one's so good. <laughs> In the sense that I don't want the best song to be first. It should never be that way. Expectations are now super high. And we're ending with Chaeyoung. Okay. They shouldn't- I f Oh, I'm scared that that was the first one. This one's definitely 10. Ugh. Okay, up no more. Like, it can't get better, can it? I don't know. But yeah, we're doing rankings now, like 1 to 10, instead of ranking favorite to least favorite. I 
know she wasn't speaking Japanese, but it just sounded like Japanese to me for some reason. Nine looks so different in that picture. It reminds me of a um, knock knock. And they go knock 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 on my door. It's like they're singing fast, but the song is slow. The instrumental is like a little slower. It's interesting. Oh shoot, I started Time to Twice, but it was right before my channel got deleted. So my first episode reaction, I think is gone. I'm tr I have some videos saved still because I didn't get to upload all of them, but I'm pretty sure that one's gone. So if when I do start Time to Twice, it's going to be on the second episode. Just a warning, but like I was going to put on Patreon, but it doesn't get blocked. So I was like, it's going on YouTube. But yeah, just randomly bring that up. But I do have a lot of Patreon stuff, so Patreon description. Yeah, this gives me like knock knock vibes. It's like a mystical song. I think Chewie's voice sounded really nice on the bow and um, Asana. It was a good song. It's definitely like a 7 or 8 though for now. I think if I listen to it more, I'll definitely like it more. Okay, Gio wrote this song, the lyrics. 90s vibe, old Barbie songs. Yeah, I can see that. Um, yeah, I think the lyrics were nice. The song and like the production, I guess, isn't my like type of songs. Oh my god, of course Gio wrote Girls Like Us. That's like my favorite. I have to say like Girls Like Us is probably one of my favorite choice songs ever. But this one, it's not, I would, I would, yeah, I'll say like a 7 or an 8. It was still good though. Do what we like. I think um, Sana sounded really good on that song though. Like type of song. Like her soft sweet voice in that song. And Chewy. Chewy sounded really good there too. Ooh, I like the start. Okay. This is gonna be like early 2000s vibes. Early mid 2000s, like 2010. The way it was building reminds me of like. Was it a Black Eyed Pea song? I don't know. Okay. Uh. Tonight we're young. I don't know how I feel about this song, I'm not gonna lie. It's not. Mina sounds so good though. This should have been like their debut album. It make more sense. Why is Nyan's picture so edited? 
This is the part, it sounds like a... Oh, tonight's the night. That song, it goes like, tonight's the night. Yeah, I don't know, man, I can't think of the song. Even that part. Uh, yeah. I don't know how I feel about the song. It's... It could easily be way better in my mind if I just listen to it without watching it. If it's just like playing in the car, I'll probably love it a lot better. It's not a bad song. I think it'd be cool in a concert. But as just a listening, reacting, observing, analyzing type thing, it's not that good. But it's not bad. It sounds aged and it just came out. That's the problem. Like the lyrics, no, there, aren't, there are no lyrics basically. Uh, Sana? Sana wrote this? Oh, and I feel so bad. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sana. I'm not insulting you, I swear. It's just. Sounds nothing like Love Foolish to me. Uh. The lyrics for the verses, yes. The chorus, it's just there. All right. Well, that I would give that song a seven. That's why I really don't think they should have started with Hell and Heaven. If, if we started with Up No More and Do What We Like and then went to Hell and Heaven, that would have been good. The placements were weird. I shouldn't have listened to it in order. <laughs> oh, okay. Kill it, Sana. Sana suits this album in general, though. Like her voice. Oh, welcome, Stan. Ooh, okay. I like the vibe. JRP has such a distinct sound because a lot of these songs remind me of like GOT7 songs. I would exclude like Stray Kids from that, but like GOT7 and Twice mainly, like they have similar vibes with like, like this sound in their recent albums. I don't know if I like that sound, but but the concept made it okay. Like I'm okay with it. This is definitely probably my second favorite so far. Oh, okay. Nayeon's voice. I'm so glad Chaeyoung's like singing more. She's always been a singer in the group, but to do it more often. Mina, Naya, and Sana. Three people standing out to me a lot on this album. I like the Momo and Chaeyoung part there. Like Momo's English line and then Chaeyoung's. I'll bring it back. Yeah, this is my second favorite. Okay. Oh, I didn't have blue hair in the music videos on the face. Oh. I was just gonna mention a rap line. Okay, Nayan. 
Jaya isn't seeing as much as usual. At least it feels like she's not. And Jonghyun. I don't know if Jonghyun... I don't know if she purposely sang less. Um, but can I just say... I really wanted to be like, hey, uh, rap line ain't doing much in this album. Um, they usually don't anyways, but in the title track, I felt like they did so good. I was like hoping maybe more rapping, um, but at least I have like a handful of songs left. But this one's definitely my next favorite. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Hell in Heaven is still a 10 out of 10 to me. Believer. I feel like I've heard about this one a lot. Okay, Jung Yan, there we go. Okay. Sana getting a chorus. I have love hate relationships with um, Chewie's eyeline thing. So sorry, Diane. There we go. Okay, I wasn't like, I, okay, so the first like 30 seconds I loved it. The chorus came, I was like, um, it wasn't what I thought it would be. But I'm, now that I'm like used to the chorus, the second, time, the second time I heard the chorus, I'm like liking it a lot more. This is probably like another favorite. I like the scene, like that part. Like the way it moves, the, the groove of it. I like Sana's getting like a lot more attention in this album. I wish kind of like Chewie and Momo get more, but you know, like along with her, like she gets some and then they both also get some, but can't do it too much with nine people it's kind of hard to spread it but like Jungyeon sounds really good this song wait Jungyeon, Sana, Jio this one. Oh, and Diane's part was cool I don't know there's <laughs> so many good like everyone just suits this song that was good that was good okay that's probably another nine out of ten I thought she got like good lines in this song. I had to say, um, I, th I thought she did long. I thought she was doing good on the song. I was like, yeah, I liked her in it. Maybe I guess because maybe her lines were short. That's what that person means. Her lines were short, but they stood out to me here, so maybe that's why I'm just like, oh, I thought she got more lines, because they just stood out to me. But that was a 9. That was definitely a 9. Queen. I wonder what this is going to be about. I love when Mina just parts like this. I don't want no drama. I know it's gonna be like that. This feels like a Mamamoo song to me, the way it's flowing, and their voice is on it. The laugh. I wonder who did it. My guess, Nyon? I don't know. <laughs> the random laugh. Yeah, Gio's voice. Makes it sound like a Mamamoo song.
I like that part. Okay, I really like Diamond in this song. I like the song, the lyrics, the meaning. Oh yeah, very catchy. Okay. Oh, that's a 10. I think that's my favorite along with, um... This is my favorite with, um, Hell to Heaven. Okay, of course Diane wrote this. Yeah, this is this is great. Good job, Dion. Definitely my second favorite, like or my favorite, like tied. I'm gonna go hard. Oh, I love enjoying it starts. Okay. Their voices sound weird, but it's obviously like the editing thing. Feel special. Usually I don't like um, instrumental choruses. But I really like that. That was that. I really like that one. It, it was different. Usually, the instrumental chorus is like the same type of thing every time, like just a electronic, like boring beat. But I love that. It's like so different. What instrument is this? It reminds me of Love Foolish. This is Love Foolish's sister. It's also Che Young doing the chorus, so it doesn't sound like it's just her. Okay, I love this song, lyrics, everything. Wait, what'd that say? My opponent is the woman in the mirror. Cry, this is so good. This is my favorite. I've been reacting to their tours. We did Twice Land, it's on Patreon. Now we're on um, Twice Lights, and just seeing them live, like, I know this one would be cool. I love that it changes too, the instrumental changes. It's not just one thing. Is that an elephant? I just realized that. Why does it not sound like Chewie or Che Young doing that part? Their voices sound so different. I'm confused. Like Gio and Nyan, they sound like each other, but Che Young, crazy. It's crazy. 
This is my favorite. That looks 10. And it's nice and short and to the point. 10. Wow. The lyrics, everything. D voice truly. That was perfect. 10 out of 10. That was their best song ever. Like That's up there with Girls Like Us and Love Foolish. I'm curious about this. The title intrigued me when I saw it. This is like a Get Loud kind of. Am I, am I thinking the right song? I can't. Am I the only one like uh, Sauna? This album? Bias wrecking me personally. A lot of people are saying that like Dion stuff. I mean, Dion's killing it too. But Sauna Man? Sana. But I don't know. Anytime I react to an album, Sana stands out to me. Okay, Chang Yan. I like it when she sings like that. It's, I like that. Like when she not shout sings, but like that. Like when I am doing. Dion, is that gonna rap too? I like it dangerous. Oh, I don't like that. I really wish um, Mama went and then Diane came and then they went to Sana. Even if it was like a short little verse for Diane. I know Diane already kind of went, but like, I just... Oh, truly. Hey, Gio's voice, I feel like it's improved, even though it was already good. I feel like she's doing more with it. They're done! Oh wait, I take back what I said before. I'm glad Diane got to go. Okay, Diane is killing this too. Oh, Chayan's going twice. Oh wait, that was really good. You reach the end at that time and then you holler all night long. I don't know if my mind's just going places. We'll look at the comments. I kind of felt that way in the beginning too, but I was like, maybe I'm just thinking too much. But that verse and Diane's verse, I'm like... We'll look at the comments. <laughs> Regardless, I'll take that line how I want to. <laughs> Let's look at the comments, ladies. Cause yeah, cause the I like a dangerous line too. That's when I was like, touchdown. Don't call me again. Okay. Get loud? When anyone else think about get loud? All right, I guess I'm the only one with a little bit of a uh, dirty mind. But like Dion, Dion, like all right. Well, no one's okay. Whatever. Chaeyoung being a little naughty in the song though. Ten out of ten. That was another favorite. I love Chaeyoung. <laughs> oh, this sounds pretty. I like when Mina starts songs. Mina, Mina and Nayan and Chaeyoung. Another 10 already. Let's see how the chorus goes.
Oh yeah, it's vibes. Ten. There we go. We're getting to the good song. Not that the other songs weren't good, but the past three. I'm loving Chaeyoung's voice. The lyrics for this song is probably my favorite part of it. Wow, another 10. We love. Should we do this part? It's wavy. I love this song. It's wavy. This is groovy. I love it. That was art. Wow. That was... <laughs> wow... This is... Chewy and Mina and Diane and... Uh, <laughs> but then Chaeyoung's part and then Jio and then Jung. Everyone just... Momo when she had that one line like that was great. That was a 10. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm excited. I have another song. Depend on you. We have... Say something and then behind the mask after this. Their voices sound so different. Finally, JYP is letting them explore their ranges. Get a little sweet chewy voice here. Okay, Mina. This sounds okay. Okay. It found it no it sounds it sounds like the music's louder than their voices. I don't know if I it like their voices sound very muffled right now. I'm very confused if it's, if it's my hearing or if it's the video. It sounds a little better here. It was mainly during like Mina's part. Oh, I love it. If you're new and haven't seen my old channel, Chaeyoung, just, she's my old female bias. I love that girl so much. Like, I I'll propose to her right then and there. Like, love her with all my heart. So when she sings in English, it just... <laughs> I love her. I love her mom. <laughs> Like, Chaeyoung and Taeyoung from BTS, my two, like, favorite people in the world, like, die for them. Like, no joke. You think I'm joking? No. Love them so much. The second half of the song sounds way better now. Like, it would have been a 7, but I think it's going to be a 9 now. Oh, okay, Naya. Naya and me in this song. 
No, I didn't mean that. Why does Mina's voice sound so low? I'm guessing it's for the aesthetic of the song. But it feels like her... It feels like her voice is so low. Perfect. Okay, so Nayan wrote this. Makes sense. She sounds great in it. And she wrote it for Mina. It's not her plot, but I just think the person who did the video, I mean, did the video, did the song, who, like, put it together, like, the producer, he, like, made her voice too low. Because, like, I think Mina sounds so good on it. But it's, like, Mina's voice is too quiet. Maybe it's just the video. I'll have to, like, or maybe it's just without, with headphones, maybe. I don't know. 9 out of 10, though. That was beautiful. Say something, I'm giving up on you. Nina's starting songs again. She's the perfect starter. I love Chaeyoung. So sweet. I'm getting so much Mama Moo vibes from this album. And I guess that has to do with Mamamoo, to me, being one of the most mature female groups. And as twice finally are allowed to go the more mature route after, like, Fancy. Uh, fancy, like, after that, like, I feel like we got, like, the more mature sounds. This album is their most mature so far. And I guess that's the correlation. Also, the, like, will this be, like, 70s vibes? I don't know. I kind of always correlate that to, like, Mamamoo. <sighs> I like the R&B style, I guess you could say, like, I was just thinking of them. I like Momo with blue hair. Did she have that in the video? It didn't look- it looked black in the video. I know they dye their hair for the video different for the concept photo sometimes. That elevator music here. Oh. This is very elevator music like. This isn't like my favorite style of music. It has to be done perfectly. And I don't think it's like not done perfect. It's just the way they did it isn't what I would consider like perfect. Does that makes sense? Me trying to be as nice as possible. <laughs> it's it's background music for me. Like I can't listen to this as just listening. I think I'd have to be doing something as I listen to it, like writing or something. So with that in mind, I think the perfect song is one you can just listen to and like full heartedly just listen to it without having to use it as a background song. So I would give it like an 8 so far. But I love Mean on it. Mina looks so good in that picture. She could be a bias record right now. I don't know. Twice is a group where it just depends on the era for me. Jazzy. Yeah, this is like a jazzy. Like, is jazz 70s? I'm gonna go 70s, 60s. 60, 70s. Which, I can enjoy a good jazz, but it was a very long song too. I think that kind of dragged it out of it. So yeah, it definitely had to be a background song. And I think 80s, 80s. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Girl, I don't know times. Really? What kind of anime? I don't watch anime, but this is what I think about when I think about anime. 
That was good. That was good, though. I'll give it a 7. I'll give it a 7, actually. It was kind of long. Behind the Mask. Oh, shoot. This is the last song. Okay. With that in mind, this is the last. I'll do, like, my three favorite songs. Uh, four. Three or four. Me just listing all the songs. Geo starting. Okay. That's, that's different. She started a few songs, but... I don't think any on this album. Me here for vocal rap line. Though I wish we had a rap song. Or at least song with them rapping a lot. Yun and Chaeyoung. Okay, I'm here for it. Oh, okay, Jaehyun. The way they're singing it, I don't understand. I explain it, but I love it. Jonghyun song. We are, I'm only a minute in. Jonghyun song. Okay, Gio, you can't be taking Jonghyun's song. Dayeon? Oh, still Jaehyun. Love it. Good ending. I love it. Me crying. Oh, uh-uh. I love her deep voice. I love that part. The who, yeah, like... Oh, this is top five. <laughs> I'm just gonna like list the songs I really like at the end. Oh, iconic. That was a good ending. Okay. Oh. Okay, usually it doesn't. Usually there's like empty space. The sound at the end. Whoa, I didn't like this song at first. Trash, just kidding. One in a million, it sounds nothing like one in a million. Okay, my favorite songs are Hell in Heaven, Bring It Back, Go Hard, Handle It, Depend on You, and Behind the Mask. And their title track. What's the title track called? Um, I Can't Stop Me. I usually, Twice is like a group where the only title track that I would like list in my favorites would be like uh, Ua Ua and Knock Knock, maybe. Like those two. And I like Feel Special. Kind of got, I, I overplayed it personally, but I would add that in there. But I Can't Stop Me. Is that what, why do I keep reading? Yeah, I Can't Stop Me. Is a title track that I actually really like. Um, because Rap Line actually did something. Never their fault, really. It's always just the producers and stuff. But yeah, this is I, I wanna say it's not my favorite album because there are like four songs that I probably wouldn't listen to a lot. 
but I also have to like think about over time I'll probably listen to it more and stuff and like it more so I think this could be my favorite twice album my favorite twice album is like fancy you and feel special um but in general with twice with any album in general I usually don't have a favorite album because like they I always have like at least one or two that I don't like off an album but sometimes it I think any album I at least have one song I love a lot so it's always just a give and take but this was a great album but like hell in heaven bring it back uh go hard handle it behind the mask depending on you like great songs love them this was a great album i can't wait I'm just, it took i was so i wasn't gonna react to it because i was like sure i wouldn't have time but i managed so so glad i got to react to this and <laughs> the thing is when my account got deleted my first thought was oh but their comeback <laughs> me not caring i was like oh like i was um, very angry about the fact my account's deleted <sighs> but <laughs> Like, the first thing that came to mind to me was, like, shoot, they're coming back. Twice has come back in TXG, but right now we're acting twice. I was like, I need to react to that. And then and Hypen's uh, debut, like, I was just like, oh my god, I need to react to this. And that is why I made this channel, mainly for this. But anyways, let me know in the comments down below your favorite songs. Who do you think shined? I think Momo needed more lines, but I always think that. Um... Chime, I feel like Chime didn't actually get that many lines, but she has just such iconic lines. And she usually just kind of like repeats a lot in, in throughout like the song, like the ooh yeah, ooh yeah thing. But I think who shined to me this era was Sana, Mina, and Nayeon. I feel like they did great. But anyway, that is it for this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye.